Tim Stripling, Modern Mountain Man and Modern Homesteader. The last video we uh, did a little gold prospecting, a little gold mining up at Cache Creek. Well, probably one of the best places to do some gold prospecting around here in Colorado. Some of the best pay dirt. And everyone's wondering what it takes to get an ounce of gold out of the ground. What it takes to get that uh, movious ounce of nice pay dirt, nice pay, uh, good, good gold. So we're going to take do some experimentation and we're going to try to uh, see what it takes and so far from my uh, guesstimation it's going to take about a few hundred buckets to about 700 maybe a thousand buckets worth of uh, five gallon buckets worth of material to get to that thousand or uh, 31 grams of gold out of this particular location which from my prospect and in mind around this parts it's it's probably one of the best more rich, richer parts of the uh, Colorado to get gold from especially when it comes to uh, alluvial deposits but stay tuned. Check out the first uh, episode, first part of the series, and that's where we are actually mining and getting the girl out of the ground. And particularly, you want to focus on that material that's you know, that river bed, riverbed material, that uh, really packed in, uh, gravelly, cemented material. And as you dig down, I mean, anywhere you go in Colorado looking for alluvial deposit or gravel deposits, you want to dig down deep. You want to go down deep and find some, you know, old ancient uh, riverbed material or creek bed material. Dig into it and break all that. And once you find that layer of material where you have a, a lot of cobble or gravels that are packed in there real tight, you want to dig through that and, and process it. Fried up and run through your sleeves. That's where you're going to find your highest concentrations of gold, and your most nuggets, and your most pickets. Uh, you focus on that, you have the best results. It's a lot of time and effort, you know, hauling material to and from a sluice and process. And so you want to focus on the most concentrated gold material, which is those gravel bed materials, which the best place to find is if unless you have a dredge and the ability to get into an uh, area with the dredge uh, to dredge or creek bed, you just want to go find an ancient creek bed, which is probably some of the better, better material considering it's been, you know, deposited over millions of years. Either way, stay tuned. Check out our first video. We're getting the process done in some of the areas we're working there at Cash Creek. And uh, stay tuned for the second video where we start processing more and more material until we get to that point that we feel that we, uh, it's time to go ahead and put it through the blue bowl and see what we come up with as far as a, uh, getting close to an ounce of gold. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, you know, a lot of these videos, a lot of these guys out here do gold around here in other, other states and other YouTubers. They'll, they'll give away some pay dirt or uh, some of their uh, pickers and some of their gold they find. Not just going to give you some pay dirt. I'm going to go ahead and throw in uh, some gold and <laughs> one of those good old Mountain Terra Aquamarines. Now, this is probably a 30 to 40 plus carat Aquamarine. Uh, you guys, go ahead and like and subscribe all our videos. We'll definitely get you into drawing. Uh, the more likes and subscribes you get, or likes you get on our videos, or more videos you like, the more chance you have winning. So, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned for part two of the uh, gold prospecting video, what it takes to get an ounce of Cash Creek and what it takes to get an ounce of most places, I guess you could say. Well